Welcome to Long Lost Brothers, the podcast devoted to talking shit and self-improvement. That's right. My name is Brett Scott. And I'm Jesse Cole. And we are the Long Lost Brothers. Indeed. What's up, Brett Scott? Man, it's only been four days, but I'm so excited after that 100th episode spectacular, Mm. that look back at what we've been doing for the past three years. I'm like, I'm amped to go again. Even though we don't have a whole lot to talk about, I'm like, yeah. Get back on. Hey, I feel like like uh, when me and Kimberly first started dating, like I didn't really have like a whole lot of a life, so I'll go to the barber shop literally every Friday, and it yeah. would get it get to the point where my uh, barber would be like, "There's nothing to do, dude," and I'm like, "Can you like wax my <laughs> eyebrows? Like, what about like adjust my beard a little bit?" He's like, "Dude, you're you're done. <laughs> Take my money, dude." <laughs> You're like, I just want to hang out. Yeah. Yeah. He, shout out to Jared, by the way. He's super cool, man. Uh, yeah, I miss that dude. I, I moved away, so he's not my barber anymore. But he's the one that did Kimberly's hair for the wedding. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was some so, expensive hair. 800 bucks. So, so this is interesting. I, like, I, we, we only touched on a couple, like, uh, topics last time because we got – right into like talking about the look back at the long lost brothers episodes and all that being all nostalgic and whatnot. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what happened like, before that we maybe didn't touch on, but I know we definitely, we have to talk about this finale of last of us, right? We'll start with that. Did, did I bring up quant- the quantum leap reboot or did we leave that? I don't think you did. Like you mentioned it to me. I don't think we brought it up on the show though. Okay. And then, uh, did we talk about Jake Paul and Mayweather? Yeah, we did talk about that. Yeah, we touched on that. Okay, everything from there. I'm just looking over last week's show notes. Uh, yeah, I I think that's it. I think uh, the Quantum Leap reboot is uh, and I know we talked about John Jones and Jake Paul. Uh, yeah, I think I think they. Uh, other than that, we just got the two weeks of the last of us that we didn't talk about, but now the finale has passed and I want to get into that for sure. Yeah. I definitely want that. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't watched the last episode of Mando. Is that, is it good? New, the newest episode? Uh, yes. I'll probably watch it tonight. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's today? Oh, today's Wednesday. It's coming out today. Yeah. Oh. Wait, See, today Wednesday? No, today's Thursday, bro. It came yes. out last night. I'm lacking. Right. Did you watch last week's episode? Is, did you miss that one? Uh, you got two where, to watch. Where did it leave? No, I think I just got one to watch. I remember watching it, but I don't remember how it ended. I, last week, he goes back to Mandalore. Did you see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I saw him on Mandalore and, with the girl yeah. and, and, uh, and, uh, yep. and baby group, okay. or <laughs> baby group, baby Yoda, whatever, what's his name? Grogu? Yeah, baby group. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> uh, I can fuck up any name, dude. dude. I'm telling you. I got like early onset dementia, I swear to God. Friend of the show, Kurt, sent me this meme earlier. Or it wasn't yeah. a meme. It was a, one of his memories from Facebook. And he was like, I feel like Jesse would have something similar to this in his memories. It said, uh, it said uh, something must have happened with Emma Watson at the time. Like having like some nude photos online or something. Yeah. It was like 2017, and uh, it was like, am I the only one who Googled Emma Watson nude only to realize <laughs> Watson was was not Emma Stone? <laughs> Is Emma Watson Hermione? Yes. Okay, so weird uh, tie-in. Uh-huh. She's now, now she's dating the dude that plays Draco Malfoy. Oh, wow. <laughs> I it's- just learned that this week. Harry Potter's a big deal in my house. I know. I know. You guys are a little... Well, it was just it was just your lady's uh, thing, right? It, it's into- only my thing because it's my wife's thing, but, you know, we're the... We're a, a thing, to, so... I feel like, I you, feel like you went hard on it, though. I feel like you went hard on it and, and like... Yeah, I, no, I, I watched all of them because, especially with her group of friends is my group of friends, they're all, like, really into it. So, um, like... I don't want to be like, what are y'all talking about now? So, like, I feel like I've probably watched every Harry Potter at least twice. Probably. 
Gotcha. You know, you know what then, else is uh, out out this week? It just it just dropped for I think in the last couple of days. Uh, the second half of you. You. I know. Yeah. I know you're, you're a fan of that show. Man, I'm super irritated right now because we bought a new TV for our room, right? Ah. And Netflix will not fucking play on this goddamn TV, dude. Damn. It, it, it was initially, but now it just won't. It like it'll start the show, but it just backs out. So like, yeah, and I'm trying to watch you. I love that show, man. You but you better hook up the old TV. Shit. We gave the old TV away, bro. We're lacking. Oh. One of my kids is in trouble. I'm gonna steal TV out of his room and hook it up in here. I'm sure it's a tech <laughs> tech man. I was seriously, I would like call the company or the store that you got it from or something and just be like, hey, uh, something's going on. Why Netflix ain't working? I guarantee it's just like a thing that you can pick. Yeah. What, what I mean, doesn't fucking work with Netflix? You know what I mean? There's got to be something you can do. Every, like literally every other app works. It's just, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. We've been through it. Kimberly's lost her mind about it. I've been frustrated with it as well. Like, I'm trying to watch that Chris Rock talk that shit about Will Smith, and I haven't been able to watch it. Like, it's yeah. been a minute, and I'm getting, like, man. And, and Netflix is, like, the most expensive streaming service right now. It's, like, 22 bucks. Holy shit, is it? Yeah. Damn, I don't even know. They just they just charge my ass for it. I mean, like, a, like when, I, when I buy shit, like, things just, like, come out, and I, I don't even know when they raise prices. Like, I, I've got the yeah. Disney Plus and Hulu bundle and stuff. I don't even know yeah. what I pay for that anymore. No idea. Right. I I don't even know. Like I'm just like, oh, we have this. Oh shit. Okay. I know Amazon Prime is like, you know, you pay for Prime and you get the the, the Prime TV as well. And like, yeah. So when they jacked up the price for that, which they did like last year, it went from like, I don't know. I remember it was ninety nine bucks a year. Now it's up to like one hundred and fifty or something. Jesus Christ. Yeah. But what is that? I mean, they they rate that's like a couple bucks a month if you really look at it. So it's like. Yeah. I mean, that and you get, like, fast shipping. Right. Supposedly. Uh, <laughs> you, yeah, can even, I, you can hardly get next day shipping anymore. It used to be, like, Prime is two-day shipping. Now it's, like, you might get it in four days. Well, you but, get discounted shipping because Kimberly has Prime, but I don't because, it's like, I don't know why, but, like, that, that was part of the deal. When you buy this phone, you get free yeah. Prime with it. And so I was like, all right, that's me. And so I had Prime. And now I don't. So anytime I order something off Amazon, it's like an extra like ten bucks for shipping and shit. I'm like, damn. Ah. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, but we know Last of Us. We we were like going right past it. But uh, did you know that was a finale? I would never would have thought episode nine. Like, what is this? A, a- no, I was I was hit because uh, people were saying in the finale this. Like I've seen like little uh, quick baits hey, about. I- being- I didn't even, I don't know, I didn't even see that. I was just watching it like any other episode. And then um, they, like, I don't know, and how many shows, HBO always does 10, 10 episodes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like every show does at least 10 episodes. And I don't know, that feels like a, a Disney Marvel thing to me, busting out a nine episode. Or even uh, the Star Wars is like eight or nine episodes. But I've never seen HBO Max do that. So it's like, wow. Man, that show was going fucking hard, though. Yeah, it was definitely like it was one like, of uh, one of their best. Episodes, it's the one, one where it's like fuck yes. Yeah, and dude, Joel in that last episode, fucking animal, Woo. dude, devious, Damn. Damn. came through just bullshit. Here's the thing though, I still even when I finished it, I didn't realize it was the last one. I thought we was gonna see another one next week to wrap it up. <laughs> like, I, was like, I know now it's like I'm gonna have to wait like a year and a half till the next one comes out, man. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, and I'm ready for all all the smoke with that show. So, I mean, I, I feel like people should have watched it by now if they're like really into it. I think we can talk. I want to ask you something about it. Okay. If, if you guys don't want to hear any spoilers, just skip like five minutes. But yeah. What What do you think of him uh, straight up fucking lying to her like that? I mean, it's gonna come back to bite him in the ass. Oh yeah. Big time. But Absolutely. it's like, like he killed like all the fire fireflies like people, so now he's gonna be wanted by the fireflies big time. Oh yeah. So that's gonna be a problem, and uh, I feel like he's gonna try and get Ellie to go back to his brother's ranch, 
that are going to yeah. go there and the fireflies are going to come it's going to be like a war between the fireflies oh, yeah. and the ranch that's where I think it's going to go but I could be totally wrong but that's just my speculation that sounds right yeah if I, if I had a guess yeah. uh, I think it's I think it's like fucked up that he lied to her you know it should have like you know it's her choice what happens if she wants to give her life to try to save humanity so I mean you know chances yeah. are I mean, it, they both almost died a thousand times in this nine episodes you know it is it's it's fucked up though that the people didn't like you're right it is her choice but they didn't give her a choice yeah they're just like this is what's happening yeah they made her think she was going to go to sleep and they're going to extract it it's going to be fine but, like they they didn't tell her like we got to kill you to do it. Like, it'd be different if they did, and she was like, no, okay, I, I, I totally want to do it. Then he was like, no, nah, fuck that. But yeah. uh, him going through that facility and just taking out every motherfucker in the entire place was so badass. Yeah, Joel definitely kept a super gangster. I was like, oh, shit. And he's not even from the military. His brother is. He was just hitting oh. fools. I know. He was a bad motherfucker. And, and just like, just the I don't know, just the way he went through there taking people out. Like, I feel like he struggled a lot throughout all the other episodes. Like, you know, his hearing fucked him over. He gets yeah. injured. He almost, he almost died because he got stabbed by somebody. Like, but then in, right. this, in this episode, motherfucker just goes through unscathed. Blasting. Yeah, he's like John Wick on motherfuckers. Yes, yes. Exactly. He was like untouchable. It was, it was, it was fucking badass. I loved it. I mean, yeah. for me, that was a fantastic finale. I don't yeah, know what absolutely. Saying, Absolutely, but it, it leaves a lot open for the second season. It it makes Joel a badass, but also makes shows his like emotional vulnerability. Um, you know yeah. his his willingness to be devious for, you know his uh you know because he feels like now like Ellie's like his daughter, you know, and he's not yeah. really like he's not really like, go with that. Start making you, all the making all those comparisons of him and his daughter or her and his daughter right. rather. Yeah. That, and you know what? That's what I thought was great about the finale too, is like, it wasn't just that crazy action set piece. It was a lot of like emotional stuff to a lot of like really, just really uh, like leaning into the fact that he's, he's now like fully loves this kid. Like, he, yeah. it, like he, it's not just even just like kind of protective anymore. Like, he feels yeah, no, like he, he's emo he's, emotionally attached. Like he's he's all in. Yes, and he just feels like he really likes her. He really like, you know, he wants to. Yeah, be her, like, he wants to be with her. Like, I I don't know. I felt like you totally got why he. Yeah. They yeah, said he's it like, up. nah, that's he's like that's my partner in crime, and nobody's yeah. fucking killing her. You yeah. Know? And, I mean, it was just, it did happen slowly, but I do feel like they really leaned in in this episode. Like, yeah. throughout the series, he was, like, more and more. Um, but I think they did it. They did it well, man. Like, maybe they laid it on a little thick in this episode because they had to justify that ending. But I feel like building up to it throughout the season, like, it started off with the puns, right? Yeah. Like she, she yeah, 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 yeah. And, like, he thought it was so dumb and shit, but then they're laying, laying down at night. And, like, he actually starts to laugh about one of them. And that's, like, where it really started, I feel like. Yeah. And then uh, by the end, he's like, you know what I am in the movie for? Some stupid puns. You know, like, it's, yeah. it's kind of, yep. you know, she kind of helped him to lighten up in a sense. And I think, like, after he saved her from that dude trying to rape her, like, that really kind of made him, like, super, like, fuck that. This is my kid. Nobody's fucking hurting her. And it's yeah. like, he is like, I've been through so much to keep her alive. I'm not just going to give her to you to kill her. Fuck that. You yeah. know? That's probably where his head was at. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Like, like you know, I mean, he probably feels like that's his stepkid. And I, I would feel the same emotion and shit if I was like my stepkid and some, like, I don't give a fuck if the world's going to burn. These kids ain't getting hurt. Fuck that. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I really, and it was just the fact that it was like, yeah, all of this, all of this, like, protecting her, keeping her alive for this, to fucking kill her in the end, like. Yeah, he wasn't I going mean, for it. Just like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. So, 
Yeah, and it's crazy because the whole season they've been trying to get there, and then they get there, and it's like, nah, this is not it. Yeah, yeah, that that's that, yeah, yeah. I think that was perfect. That it was like this. The whole thing was built around getting there, getting there, getting there, and they get there and they're like, nope, not what we thought. Yeah. Fuck. Them. Yeah. So, um, you got anything to add on on the Last of Us? No, I'm pumped for season two. I thought it was great. I don't, yeah. uh, you know, like a lot of people, there's a lot of talk of like greatest series ever and shit. I'm not on that. I'm not on that boat just yet, uh, especially after one season. I've seen a lot of great fucking shows in my day. And, yeah, uh, no, but I'm definitely all in for watching more though. But yes, absolutely. Like I'm not, I'm not on the fence about it at all. I'm, I'm all in. No, that show's great. So uh, yeah. So tell me, right, so, uh, so tell I, me about. Uh, Mason. Oh, okay. So Perry Mason. Okay. So we, how do you remember Perry Mason watching it as a kid? Mm, kind of boring. Okay. Well, this one, you know is, what I mean? this one is kind of boring because it, it does draw out, but a lot of cussing, titties, uh, gun violence, violence, nudity, uh-huh. you know, it, it's definitely, you know, has John Lithgow, it has the dude that played Terminator 2. Um, Got the dude from up. the Americans. Yeah, I haven't seen the Americans yet. I know you're, you're pushing me to watch that. I need to get on that. Um, but it's like, it starts out like he's a private investigator working uh-huh. for a lawyer who's John Lithgow. And so, uh, kind of in, you know, his life's in the, like, in a rut. He's not really spending time he's separated from his kid he's just you know and he gets involved in this just huge scandalous case and uh, um i won't give away any more than that but it kind of leads him into the role of being this badass uh detective slash lawyer and so that's kind of the, the arc of the season now here's the difference and i'm wondering about it okay so in the show the original perry mason it was a villain of the week type thing. It was a law and order type thing, like case of the week. Oh, now, this, this this ain't this that. More like this is more like um, they draw out a case over a whole season. Yeah, yeah. This is a this is a slow burn. Slow burn. I think I, I, think I can get into that. Honestly. Oh I, no, oh no, you will get into it. it it's good. Nice. It's 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 yeah. a great it's a great detective story. A lot of twists, like. You'll know who the killer is for some time before anybody else does. It's uh, anybody in the story before anybody in the story knows. And it's like, even where I left off, I'm ready for more. But it's like, I'm trying to, I'm really trying to dial on my sleep habits. So I'm trying to be like one episode a night. Yeah. You, know, like you, you can watch one episode of a show and then you got to go to bed. Yeah. How, so, how many are you? How many, how many episodes have you watched? Oof. I think I'm almost at the end of the first season. I yeah. watched, I watched many. Uh, I think it was Saturday night. I I watched like three or four in a row. So, um, I would like I wouldn't have even known that this was a show if they hadn't announced season two. Like they were like season two now available. I was like, wait, I don't remember season one. I didn't even know Perry Mason was back. I had no idea. Like, yeah, I, I got I gotta be coming to the end of season season one though because. Uh, Things are starting to really ramp up into the climax. So I bet you that motherfucker doesn't end on episode nine. Probably not. Probably fucking not. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely watch Perry Mason, dude. It's 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 good. If you like True Detectives, you'll like Perry Mason. It's set in the 1930s. Got I like it. it. Yeah, he's got some good. He's a, he's a vet. He's a veteran, and it has like war flashbacks and stuff and. Oh shit, World War One. Yeah, yeah, it's it's good, man. It's very it's it's very good. You will definitely enjoy it. So I don't watch Lois and Clark, but I know you do, and I know that you have some uh, critiques of the show. I do. Look, I mean, you're not alone. No one watches Lois and Clark, at least not now, because the show's been over since like 1997. But hold up. Yeah. Hold up. It's been over since 1997, and you want to bitch about it in 2023? Correct. All right, have at it, bud. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Digging deep. (laughs) So, listen. Lois and Clark, 
I feel like was a great 90s show. It really was. And I, if you remember being a kid in the 90s, like, it was part of pop culture. Like, yeah, I'm sure I watched part of it. Yeah. I'm, but, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I've seen episodes. And the same with me. Like, it was just hit or miss. Like, sometimes I'd watch it, sometimes it wouldn't. It was never like a gotta watch it every week show, but it was like, it was just on. It was kind of like Star Trek when I was a kid. I was like, it was just yeah. on, I watched it sometimes. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what Picard did last week, but if it's on, let's go. Yeah. And, and, and you don't really need to know because it, like we were talking about earlier, it's like a, a story of the week type thing. Like, you can just hop yeah. in whenever. Um, yeah. Well, there, there is, I will say that throughout the series, there's only four seasons. Um, throughout the series, it does become more of like a season long arc type story. They at least stream together like four or five episodes that are like kind of interconnected. A lot yeah. of to be continued, you know? Um, yeah. But it started out very much uh, a, a story of the week type thing, villain of the week show. Yeah, like I, a She Hulk kind of do. Yeah. And I will say, I absolutely hate Lex Luthor in the show. Not because he's like, ooh, scary, but because I just, he's annoying. Annoying as fuck. I'm not into Lex Luthor at all. Um, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna say this. I've never thought Lex Luthor was like a cool villain. Yeah, I, I, I like. I've always been like, why doesn't Superman just go fucking crush his goddamn skull and be done with it? Yeah. Oh, that that's the conundrum because fucking you know, Superman can't just do that, and that's the only good. reason because if he, yeah, he could, red, red, it, red, red, red Superman would. Oh yeah, red sun. Soviet, Soviet Superman would just pop right over. Yeah. Those would be done, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so, all right. So, look. Season one was really good. It was, like, story of the week. It was just fun. And I'll say the whole fucking series was actually, like, I enjoyed the hell out of it. Like, it was a fun show. It was super silly sometimes. It was really is camp. It, is it better than uh, Smallville? I don't know. I never watched Smallville. You never watched Smallville? I, I got pretty deep in it, but... They started introducing a lot of characters, and I was, and they're making them like super low budget cheesy. I was like, man. Yeah, like, uh, like Aquaman. Yeah, trash. Yeah. Um. So, I don't know. Season one, it was real story of the week. Season two, it it actually started getting better and better, right? Right. Halfway through the show, uh, so the end of season two is the big reveal. He reveals himself to Lois Lane as Superman. Right. Okay. Um, and then from there on, it's a story of them together with her knowing that he's Superman, right? So mm. it's it's very uh, – their relationship gets way deeper. They they end up getting married in season four, beginning of season four, I think, yeah. or in season three, some shit like that. Uh, but it becomes it, – it's interesting. The first scene is like – the first season is like, uh, you know, like, I wish I could tell her, but I can't tell her. Season two was like they start actually dating. Yeah, but he, she still doesn't know he's Superman. Season three and four is a whole different dynamic. It's like full on relationship. They just, you know, they're living together, and she's just, you know, they're. What kind is, of like, isn't there a new one where they have kids? Yeah, and that's, I mean, it's a completely different show, and it's a really good fucking show. You should check that out. It's called Superman and Lois. Okay. Um, that's like I, they'll probably have a season three. Um, but anyway, so here's my gripe. Okay, yeah. the end of season four, and this kind of should happen all the time back in the day. Shows yeah. never knew if they were going to get renewed when they made that finale. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they ended this motherfucker on a like a crazy cliffhanger. Like you're like, what the fuck is happening at the end of the season? They, they discover, okay, so the last few episodes, they're trying to figure out if they can have kids together, if they're compatible, right? Because he's an alien. It, it, it's yeah. his uh, biology compatible with hers. Will they yeah. be able to make a baby? They find out, no, it's impossible. It's impossible for them to have a child. In a very oh. final scene of the series, they wake up in the middle of the night. They go downstairs, and there's a fucking baby there. In a bassinet with a note that says, like, Lois and Clark, this baby belongs to you. Like, really? someone just gave him a baby. We don't know who it came from. He's going to be like Supergirl something? Dude, 
Yeah, I don't but know. They, 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 they never tell you, so you're just beat. Yeah, who knew? Like, who even knew that this was an issue? Who wanted to give them a child? Um, now, they were dealing with some uh, alternate realities, so it could have been, like, in another universe, maybe they were compatible. But we'll never <laughs> fucking know, Jesse. We'll never know because they left it, they left it like that. And, like, all yeah. I want now, uh, 26 years later, is a fucking – you know, I want I want season five, dude. Give me season well, five. You should have gone Sheldon and written him a letter asking him what the fuck. I might, you know, I might still do that. Yeah, I mean, why not? Maybe they'll answer. I don't know how I get, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, it's Warner Brothers, right? Yeah. <laughs> Bring it back. So, Call Dean Kane, get his ass in shape. Dean Kane, oh. it was a dope ass Superman. Look, get it, get him in shape. Okay, he's got some work to do to get back in shape. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's, like, he's got to be like fucking fifty-seven or something, right? Yeah, shave his beard. Tell him not to say any controversial shit. <laughs> and, and let's Dude, do it. It, he's like super Republican, isn't he? Yes, which is like a no-no, right? And, uh, yeah, it, yeah, it's Hollywood, whatever. You got a uh, which, which, which brings me to. Um, Gina Carano. Remember she got, like, canceled from Star Wars? Yeah, and now she's back. She's not back. What? I thought they brought her back. No, they didn't bring her back. Fuck no. They explained her ass away in this season. Like, they... He returns to the planet where she should be. And they're like, oh, she, uh... She went off on this other mission with this other group of people, so... We won't see her anymore. Yeah. But anyway, same type of thing with Dean Cain. Um, but I'd like to see it. Um, I will say that Lois, um, Terry Hatcher, smoking, smoking hot. She's, um, well, at least, I, I don't know. I, I got a thing where I don't really like short hair on girls. Like when you cut their, when, when girls cut their hair shoot, super short, I mean, some, some, some looks can pull it off, right? Yeah. Man, when you take like, a gorgeous actress like Terry Hatcher, who, like, season one, she was phenomenal. Throughout the series, her hair gets shorter every single season. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you doing? Like, she's not that much older. It's only four years later. You don't have to turn her into a fucking middle-aged woman with a short haircut. Right, right. But, no, she was so smoky. <laughs> she was a smoke show, dude. I I don't I recall what she looks like, so I'm yeah. just, I'm just going to have to take your word for it on that. Yeah, I had a general idea, right? But then when I rewatched the show, I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't yeah, realize uh, it was attractive. Yeah, that it, okay, Lois, I see you. Yeah. When you're a kid, that's just a grown-up, right? Like, Right. I was like 10, 11 when this show was running, 12. And right. To me, shit. Yeah, but now you're like, now you're on that on that level. Yeah, she's like late 20s. I'm like, okay. And so, um... Hold up. What about you said you were watching Expendables, like rewatching? Yeah, right? I've been doing a rewatch of Expendables because I don't know why. <laughs> I guess because because Creed, because Creed, and it's bringing back all the nostalgia, and that was yeah. like the money grab for '90s action nostalgia dudes. Yeah, I tell you what, I, I remember when it came out, it was fucking awesome. I remember the first movie coming out. And it being like, what is this? What are they trying to do? They bring back all the 80s and 90s action stars and put them in. And they up the ante with each movie. Mm. So that's what's interesting about it. That's what's fun about the series. It's like, you don't know who's going to show up. So, yeah. season one, it's like Jason Statham, Dolph Lundgren, Sylvester Stallone, Terry <laughs> Crews, right? It's like a who's who of, like, big, tough action guys. Um, 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 um. um What's his name? Uh, the Bruce, fighter. Bruce, Bruce Willis. Seen it. Oh, John Claude Van Damme. No, 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 no. Like the real life fighter. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Um, damn, dude. Rand, Rand, Randy Couture. Yes, Randy Couture. Um, I, pulled I, I pulled that one out of my ass and did not mispronounce his name. Well, nice. It should start a fucking jar on my podcast desk that I put a dollar in every time I don't fuck somebody's name up. 
that'd be an empty ass jar, dude. <laughs> Well, it have it would have one one dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, gonna, I was gonna say it would have one dollar in that jar. Baby Groot is a better name than Grogu. Yeah, but it's already a character. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's it's <laughs> fictional. It's fictional. It's all fictional, baby. All right, look. Yeah. Okay. So that, anyway, I so digress. It's all those people in it, right? It, 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 it's great. Uh, the, the second film ups the ante. Okay, they bring in Jet Li. They bring in uh, Jean Claude Van Damme as a villain. They bring in, I mean, it just it just keeps going, right? And then the third film, they bring in all these fighters, dude. I think uh, one of the Diaz brothers is in it. No way. Yeah, Ronda Rousey's in it. What? Yeah, it's fucking wild. Um, Damn. Yeah, they bring in this whole younger team that's like trying to replace the old team. It, it's just fucking Wesley Snipes shows up in it. Oh shit! Yeah, it gets it, like that's it's just so much fun, man, to, to watch like who they get, and they always like make little in jokes about like the other characters, like uh, oh, oh, fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger's in it too, Bruce Willis. Yeah, I was uh, gonna say Bruce Willis. Harrison right. Ford shows up. Who? Harrison Ford. Oh, Harrison Ford shows up in the Expendables. <laughs> yes. Man, this sounds like Fast and the Furious, like on a on a way faster fast track. Yes, but better, way better. Hmm. Um, anyway, it it's a who's who of fucking action stars. Um, it's great. Sh- uh, Liam Hemsworth is in the second one. Uh, mm-hmm. But anyway, it's just a fun bunch. Of, and like I said, a lot of like campy stuff, like very like, you know, honoring the '80s movies of old, right? Dude, you know, you know what movie is fucking badass since you brought up Jet Li is the uh, one. Yeah, if Jason that's, that's, Statham and J- Jet Li. Fuck that movie was badass, dude. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, fucking another good Jet Li movie was uh, uh, oh shit, what's it called? Um, Hero. It's a yeah. hero. Yeah, fuck yeah, Hero was sick. That was sick. Um. But anyway, that yeah, I've been I just been rewatching it. I knew I liked it. I, I'm always hoping for a number four. They keep saying they work, you know, we're working on it, blah blah blah. Yeah. But I don't know. A lot of egos in that in those movies. Yeah. So, who knows? I mean, yeah. You know yeah. what they should get for the next one is Jesse Ventura. <laughs> they should. You know, I'm surprised he didn't make a cameo. In fact, he might have, and I just didn't know it. There's so I'm, many. I'm not. He went. Super hardcore political weird whack job, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. He like got some job at CNN. They paid him a bunch of money, and then he just went like the opposite of their brand, and then just like bought a house in Mexico and just lives off the grid down there. Sounds all so very yeah. Alex Jonesian. Very much so. Same, yeah. Same kind of shit, dude. But yeah. he was, I mean, he was in the military. He might know more shit that we don't know. I don't know. But, yeah. I just remember him coming on Jim and Sam and trying to, like, bully Jim. And it was like, and Jim was just going off, like, you want to hit me? Fucking hit me then. Fucking da 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 Like, just, like, making, making fun of fucking Jesse Ventura. Like, yeah. yeah totally bring it, it in. Was, I mean, if he, if he wasn't. Such trouble. I will say though that they they bring in Mel Gibson too in in uh, the third one, okay. which is surprising after his you know like I think a yeah, lot of yeah like, he's uh, he's kind of he, he's kind of back though he is he is and I'm very I'm kind of surprised by that just because you know there's other people who have done less that yeah. are not you know what I mean yeah and that yeah. is on a, some racist ass rants on several occasions. Like spewing the N word, talking about the Jews, like it. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. So, yeah, I, I've, I've always liked him as an actor, though. I mean, like, fuck, Mad yeah, Max. He's, he's a weapon, fuck. Yeah, I mean, fucking Braveheart. Come on, fucking Braveheart, fucking Passion of the Christ, bro. Yeah, that's why when I was, I was like. And that's like when all like the stuff with him talking about like Jewish people came out, all his anti-Semitic stuff came out, right? Like yeah. right after that, and then that was kind of like when shit got kind of fucked off for him. Yep, yep. And then uh, his girlfriend at the time, yeah, shared, like a recording of him just abusing yeah. 
verbally and, you know, throwing the N-word around and fucking... Yeah, shit. and he's like, you should be sucking my dick and, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was rough. And, and smiling about it. <laughs> yeah. You know who the fuck I am. <laughs> yeah, he had that real entitlement going. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, lethal weapon. Like, he's, you know, he's been on fire since the 80s, you know I mean? Yeah, man. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is, though. Anyway. He's in uh, it as a villain. And, dude, yeah. was, uh, remember the movie Payback? That's one of my favorite fucking Mel Gibson movies ever. I, I would have to rewatch it to remember. I don't remember the how it goes. It's great. Great little revenge flick. Yeah, you gotta love Revenge Flick, though. Almost all. Absolutely. Uh, and so, uh, you've been running, yeah? Yeah, I've been running. I mean, same shit, right? I haven't officially started my half marathon training plan yet, but it's coming up in like two weeks. But I'm yeah, here. But right. I've been following one along. Seems like you're you're sticking to your guns. This I've week's been, been a- uh, like intervals and shit like that, like uh, 200 meter sprint, uh, not sprints, but like 200 meter yeah. eight meter pace and like 400 meter uh repeats and shit like that and then doing uh what do you call um basically like these pace runs where you run like uh for like i don't know a couple miles at this pace and then you up the ante for like five you know three miles you run at a faster pace and then you up it again to a faster pace, and then you slowly bring it down. That's how it's called now, but it's, it, they're fucking really difficult runs, man. It's like, it's hard when you're at a pace to then change yeah. it to a faster pace and then do yeah. that again miles yeah. later. Yeah, that, yeah, I can see how that would be tiring. But then you um, bring it down, and it's it's uh, all is right with the world again. But, yeah, I'm, I'm adding this stuff to my running that I've never done before. I always just did the... You know, long, slow, endurance building, base building shit. Yeah. And that was all the training I did. But now I'm trying to incorporate speed work and stuff. So really, I want to hit sub two hour, maybe sub one hour and 45 minutes on the half marathon. So That's something you're kind of ratcheting up your training and building, like, before you even get into the the running aspect. Well, it's... La- well, last it's week... Fun. So Last fun. week, I killed... Uh, I killed it at the gym. This week I got in Monday morning and then I just got like hella sick, like halfway through Monday. And yeah. like, and Tuesday, like, so I got back to the gym like just before this. I went and I did some cardio and then I, I got a, like a nice like chest and triceps. I benched 295 and then I just did like a lot of bodybuilding shit after that. Um, that was nice. I, it was good. Like, I, like it was good because I had, I had, I was very rested. Like, fit, like my muscles were very rested. So I got back in. Like, like I had hurt my back last week, and then I got chiropractic yesterday, and then like the pain in my back had come back from getting chiropractic, which is kind of weird. But, yeah. but I don't know. I'm I'm straightened out. I mean, it's not like I'm not hurting, but you know. I get my little sore in the backs, but it's whatever. But yeah, I plan on getting back and doing my work. I'm still still grinding, you know, just training, lifting weights, and staying on, getting on the treadmill as much as possible, getting my steps in, trying to eat right. I, I did today go to this. It's called like a pro show. It's where like a lot of vendors for paint supplies because it's for sure Williams. Uh, but dude, yeah, they had some bomb ass food. They hooked it up. It was it was pretty it was a pretty chill day. It was a nice, it was a good little escape from uh, the daily grind. Yeah. So. so also, that was nice. um, uh, even though yeah, we were talking about my running. What I'm even more excited about right now though is I've been back to lifting, man. Yeah. Yeah. Are you getting all jacked and shit or what? I don't know. I feel good. I feel fucking great. I'll tell you that. I, I've been back in the gym. I've been actually lifting weights for probably like three weeks now. Yeah. Uh, probably like four days a week, maybe. Very, very nice. Some, some days five. like, um, And it, it was great because my son wanted to start lifting. So that gave me a good excuse to buy a gym membership again. Like, yeah. if, it was, if it was just me, I, I can't really justify it. But I'm like, oh, I got it. 
show this kid the ropes. I got, you know, uh, yeah. so I a gym membership with him. And, um, yeah, it's great, man. Like, I'm teaching him all the lifts. And I know you've been through this, like, with your son, both your, both yeah. your sons. Um, but it's fun to, like, and, you know, he's frustrated. Like, it, the, the kids, both of my kids, are very much like they fucking know everything. It's hard to teach yeah. them anything because it's like they, they think you're dumb. They're going to take no direction for you. Like, what do you know? I can learn all this. <laughs> right. Like, I, yeah, I've been doing it for 20 fucking years. <laughs> exactly. So I'm teaching him lifts and stuff, and he's getting frustrated, whatever. But whatever. He's got to be learning stuff. I feel like he's learning it. He's soaking stuff in. Um, yeah. But we've been going pretty regularly. And uh, we were doing kind of like an upper-lower split. I just wanted to ease him into um, – and give him stuff that's going to compliment his, like, he's in track right now. Nice. And I'm, like, trying to, you know, not overload him. Like, you don't want to give him a full-on 90s bodybuilding routine where he's, like, kill yeah. the arms and kill the chest and then kill back and then kill leg. So yeah. we were doing this kind of upper-lower routine, yeah. not super high volume. Um, but then my son comes out of track practice the other day, and I think he thought he dropped some drop something on me, man. It's some, some, some knowledge I didn't have, but he comes out, he goes, hey, uh, I got a new workout routine. I was like, oh, is that right? He's mm-hmm. like, yeah. It's, uh, and look, it was, there was like a pause before he said it. he was like, it's, um, push, pull, legs. <laughs> like, like, oh, shit, push, pull, legs, what the fuck's that, son? <laughs> I was like, yeah, man, I've I, uh, been doing push pull legs for a better part of a decade or more. But uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can show you stuff. Um, but yeah, I was like, where'd you hear about that? Oh, I don't know. I just fucked up workout routines on there. I was like, oh, all right. I said, well, I don't know if we're quite ready. Like, we should probably be focusing on some full body shit and really getting good at doing the movements. But, uh, ah, fuck it. You want to you try it? Push pull legs, we can do it. We'll give it a I mean, shot. It's not. It's it's a good. It's a good workout. It's a good, good way to go. It is. The, the only thing I like more about the full body is you can do a lot more supersets, like opposing muscle groups. So you can yeah. like chest and back, and it saves a ton of time. You can do yeah. pull ups, you know, with overhead pressing. Yeah, absolutely. Set it back and forth. Whereas this, and I was teaching. That's what I was telling him today. We were doing uh, like dumbbell bench press and he did a set and then it was time for me to do my set and he was like what do i do now I'm like well you rest until your next set you know what i mean and he's yeah, like right. that was his first experience with just having to stand around i'm like yeah because because triceps i said are they're they're complementary muscles so they're getting work as well you can't really do a back like a, a hard tricep movement and then go into bench press or your bench press will be weak as fuck because your triceps are burnt out. Right. Right. You know, you have that. That's the big difference. Like we can't do as much as we were doing before and we can't do it as quick as we could before. So, well, yeah. Cause he's like, now he's doing like a uh, more of a bodybuilding instead of like an athletic type training. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, I mean, if he's trying to put on mass, that's probably the way to do it. If he's trying to put on that size, I mean, push, pull, legs is, you know, I mean, that's like the yeah. OG, OG, get big, get swole. What's wonderful, though, about a beginner is they can basically do anything as long as they're lifting. Yeah, absolutely. You gotta, you're going to fucking grow, you know what I mean? And get yeah. strong. I'm just happy that the tendon in my bicep finally healed and I can curl more than about 35 pounds without crying. So well, that's, that's, that's good news. I that's all I yeah. feel like, so, but, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, well, like, I think, like, 40s is where I'm at with, like, still without, like, trying to do, like, toss them off my hip, but, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, like, I, I just, but I just, like, kind of work, like, I go, like, I start with the 25s, rub them out, like, a lot until, like, the blood's pumping, and then I just work my way up doing sets of 12 all the way up until I can only get it to, to eight reps, and then I would go back down to, like, that's like my closer for my like back and biceps. Just so my arms are like getting hella thick. Yeah, I will say that I'm enjoying uh, my training more than I have in a long time. Just like I'm, I'm like full on hybrid training, man. I'm running yeah between three and like eight miles in a day. Like 
Probably yeah. about 20, 25 miles a week. Um, and Darn also it. hitting the weights, you know, four or five times a week. So it's like, it's yeah. legit. I, I feel great all over. Also, um, started up the landscaping officially again. Yes, yeah, I saw <laughs> that. I saw that. You sent me your, your TikTok. I was like, oh shit, here we go. Yeah, already, dude. Like, it feels early. It feels like I was just kind of closed it up for the winter, but here we yeah. are, man. And I'm full on doing it this year. I, I, I got, I officially got the LLC. I plan on opening a bank account for it and like really, I plan to buy a $600 mower next mm-hmm. week. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting real. I'm going to save all my receipts. I'm going to do tax write offs, all the fucking cool shit. So, um, Hell yeah. Yeah. Planning on making a killing on the side here this, this year. Hell yeah, brother. Amen to that. Amen to that. Can't stop. All right. Can't stop, won't stop. All right, well, I think I think that's probably it for this week, man. Yeah, man, I, I know we talked before. It's like it's going to be a short one because we didn't. Yeah, we didn't... I mean, we just recorded like four days <laughs> ago. So. Yeah. By the way, it was a great episode we did. I mean, I had so much fun doing that 100th episode. Um, yeah, man. If people haven't <laughs> listened to it, please go listen to that because it's like one of my favorite in a long time. It was so great yeah. to go back through and. And remember the shit that we've talked about, <laughs> in the past. like the titles. Unless, <laughs> like, yeah, I was. In, I know I was looking at Doom Squad, like Doom Patrol, like yeah, just just like the 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 historic me fucking names up. I I never really really realized. I know you brought it up a lot, but until like last week, I was like, I really do fuck up a lot of names. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's like one of the best parts of our show. Yeah. It really yeah. is. I'm serious. I'm, it, I'm sure it, that people that listen, like, that's a staple of our show. Like, Jesse yeah. fucks up names, and it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. It's got, yeah. It, it's a gift and a curse. What can I say? It is. No, but yeah. it, yeah, it is. It's, it's a trademark of the show. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> it's great. It's fun because it's content. It makes me laugh every time. And you, too. Well, anyway. <laughs> well yeah, because once I see the, the folly of my ways, I'm like, ah, my Jesus, Jesse. Yeah. Well, all right, all right. So, uh, watch that episode. Oh yeah, and that's one that you need to go watch because we did that live. There's a video yeah. on YouTube and on our Facebook page, Long Lost Brothers. Go watch. Yeah. Go watch us. Watch us do yeah. the hundred. You can see my pretty face. But yeah, all right, man. Uh, follow me on the Instagram. It's Cole underscore Witta underscore K. Uh, follow the Long Lost Brothers underscore podcast on the Instagram, and then follow at the Real Brett Scott every fucking place you can imagine. Man, go listen to us on Spotify. Check us out, you know, and or Apple Music, wherever you get podcasts. We're everywhere, man. So, uh, with that, we'll uh, we'll get witches next week, man. All right, later, man. All right, later.